Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Beneath the Trees, Where Nobody Sees Number Two. This is a new book from IDW. Uh, let's take a look at the creative team before we get into this book. Uh, once again, I love that the presentation of the, the neighborhood newspaper giving you a little bit of an update of what's going on. Uh, but this is written and illustrated by Patrick Horvath with letters by Hassan Osmani Elhao. Uh, and as I mentioned, this is a book from IDW. Um, so if you didn't catch up on the last issue, let me give you a quick synopsis. Uh, in this little town, everything was peaceful until a grisly murder happened at the parade. Now, we also have our protagonist, who is an actual murderer, uh, and now this murder is going to uh, cross paths with her own work. Uh, so in this issue, horrified to learn that she's not the only serial killer in Woodbrook and insulted, frankly, by the rookies. Flair for the dramatic, Samantha hits the pavement to silence the competition before they ruin her quiet, perfectly curated life. But the insufferable, latte chugging, local busybody Sherry Gherkins is poisoning the town with her own theories about the murder, and things are gonna get messy. Grab a cup of cocoa and Carlo with the second chapter of Patrick Horvat's Twisted. Tale of Cozy Animal Community in Crisis. Uh, I don't know that a cup of cocoa is really what you should be doing while reading this book. But, man, this second issue, um, just when I thought that, you know, the, the first issue does a really good job at uh, proposing this story and hooking the reader. This second issue does a really good job at expanding the community and even adding to the list of problems that Samantha has to deal with as she tries to discover who this murder is. Also, the impact of this murder in the community, a community of, like, really cute, fuzzy little animals that leave a peaceful, a peaceful life, a quiet life, but now everything's been ruined, right? Like, this is... Even though they were not the victims themselves, the community still has suffered and taken a blow to the morale, to their, like, you know, their calmness, their nerves. Uh, and, and I think that Horvath does a really good job displaying that through the art. Let's take a look at some of the preview art here. As you can see, they've gathered with the with the sheriff. Uh, and just as you look at all the little faces, look at the detail that is put into them. Even though these are animal anthropomorphized animals, uh, you can still sense uh, the nerves, the eeriness, how freaked out everyone is. All these little pages... I just love that you know Horvat chooses like the the cutest animals uh, until we see this you know we see Cheryl or Sherry uh, who is just loud and obnoxious but she also has her own little theories uh, and also Samantha always drawn as very calm cool and collected uh, and and just she plays that role very well uh, I've been watching a lot of Fargo which is a lot of you know it's a true crime type of TV show, and it reminds me a lot of the, the things they do here in, in this book, uh, reminds me a lot of the little tricks and tropes that show up in the, in the show, but, you know, the book has a, a, a different approach to it because it's a static medium, uh, and I just really love that the panels that the Horvat chooses to highlight, how much, how many panels we get per page also really adds to the pacing. It slows things down a lot, uh, even just cutting to the little dog. Uh, even having the little funny joke of the turtle going back in its shell because it's startled. It is just really, really well done. Uh, so I'm really enjoying this book, uh, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. I can't wait to see and get to the bottom of this mystery. Um, so if you have read this book, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live, that is most Saturdays. 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here on the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.